Benjamin Banneker, born November the 9th, 1731 in Ellicott's Mills, Maryland. Banneker was the son of an ex-slave named Robert Banky, and he was married to Mary Banneker's mother. Mary Banneker's mother was a mixed woman who was the daughter of an English woman by the name of Molly Welsh. Molly Welsh was a former indentured servant and her husband was an ex-slave by the name of Banker. Banker, he was said to have come from a royal tribe within West Africa and his wife Molly freed him. Now because both of Banneker's parents were free, he too enjoyed the privilege of freedom. Benjamin attended a small Quaker school for a short period of time and he was taught to read by his maternal grandmother, Molly Welsh. In 1749, young Banneker watched a crowd of cicadas sing on his family farm. He studied the insects every time they reappeared and later predicted the broad's return of 1800. In his later years, Banneker was primarily self-educated. And in his earlier years, Banneker constructed an irrigation system for his family farm and Banneker made the first clock. Banneker made a clock out of wood and this wooden clock actually ran and told accurate time. In fact, it ran for more than 50 years until Banneker's death. Banneker was so smart, he taught himself astrology. And Banneker accurately forecasted lunar and solar eclipses. Banneker accurately predicted a solar eclipse that occurred in 1789. And in 1791, Banneker worked with Andrew Ellicott and others to survey the land that later became Washington, D.C. And at the same time, Banneker, an essayist and pamphleteer, who was also opposed to slavery and advocated for civil rights, Banneker sent a letter to future President Thomas Jefferson, who was then the Secretary of State, and he asked Jefferson to help with creating better conditions for African Americans. And with that letter, Banneker included a handwritten copy of his manuscript for his future 1792 Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia almanac and ephemeris with his letter to Jefferson. Banneker's letter and manuscript proved to Jefferson that African Americans are in fact intelligent and not inferior to white people. Banneker published his almanac for six full years and Banneker's almanac became useful to fishermen. Banneker passed away at his family farm on October the 9th, 1806. During Banneker's funeral, his house caught a fire and destroyed most of his writings and possessions. Most of what is known about Banneker comes from records left by others, and Banneker never married or had any children. Benjamin Banneker, November the 9th, 1731, to October the 9th, 1806.